Good morning everyone, welcome to Slim Chat 92 and if you've just joined me from Rock Chat, as you can see the sweater didn't last long, <laughs> I was just so hot I had to take it off. Um, I took my phone call though so uh, at least that's sorted out. So good morning, it's not, it's not the nicest day, it's not bad out there, it's a nice day for a walk if you're going to do one I suppose. Um, but not not overly sunny. It's bright though. It keeps trying to come out, but it's not not fabulous out as it has been. So um, I had a little go on the scales today. I've stayed the same, so I feel like I, you know, as I said to you before, I my body goes into like losing weight mode, and then it goes into shrinking mode, and then it just goes from one to the other. And so I think hopefully I'm in shrinking mode which will be fun. And I know my, sh my chins have shrunk. I do feel less chinny. Not quite as chin less chinny as I want to be, but um, I don't feel quite as Jabba the Hutt-ish as I used to. <laughs> uh, that's a word. It is now. I invented it. So anyway, um, I'm hungry this morning. It's because I've been awake quite a while and didn't eat a great deal yesterday. I ate a, well, um, a, a good dinner, but I didn't eat a great deal, if you know what I mean. Um, breakfast was small and um, I kind of had a little bit of corned beef as a snack and then I had my dinner and I had nothing else. So um quite hungry this morning. I don't really want to do egg and bacon or anything, so I just have tuna. And I think it's good to do that as well because it's a lot less that you're eating for breakfast and less fat. I'm not a fat for, I'm not really a fat type that likes lots of fat anyway. I don't mind now and then and I could I could actually having said that I could eat egg and bacon every day because it is just so yummy but I don't. <sighs> so yeah today we've got fish. Fishy wish and we do have quite a bit of leftover beef so that's today sorted um don't have to worry about it which is good and gary's cooking it so that's another that's also good that's also very good oh but it's a boring day really gary's done more or less all his diy i have to rerun my errand and that's it basically that's all there is. I might get some Christmas presents wrapped because they are taking over my bedroom. Once they're wrapped, I need a place to put them. So um, we may put them in the little room out the back. Um, I did say when Paul slept there, we wouldn't mess this room up. We wouldn't kind of stock it up again. And every time I go in there, there's less and less space. There's loads of stuff out there. That shouldn't really be there, but never mind. It's my alternative yarn store. I just need some bigger boxes. You know, the the plastic ones. I don't really want just normal boxes. I want to get some of those anyway um, to put clothes in. I need to bring over from the other house that I can't really put away yet. It's just so unordered. If it, unordered? Disarray. Chaotic. But it would be chaotic if I did anything. You know, bit of a lazy move, so I haven't really done a great deal. It all hinges on the fact that I've had a wardrobe for quite some time now in a flat pack and not been able to get it put together because that room needs carpeting. So, and then you've got Christmas coming and, and all sorts. So it's a bit of a chicken and egg. Need the carpet before you put the wardrobes in need the wardrobes no carpet so it just goes around in this circle what i need is um someone who's very very handy that can lay carpets gary and i did this one in this yarn room it was hard work do you remember i can re i can actually remember laying carpets in my very first ever flat and i was on my hands and knees with my stanley knife you know my carpet blade and i had the carpet strips and I was banging them in and the little grippers and, and the, the double-sided tapes and I did the whole thing and it was 
it was really good I stretched the car up here and I put it in the got it all tucked under in places so it was perfect this time round got on my knees the knees were killing me my back was killing me I was hot I couldn't move I was in agony it's like what a difference 30 years makes just saying it's crazy but where is that per if I get on my knees now you know if I crawl or anything sort of get down change one of the kids bums or something and I get down I'm on my knees my knees are in agony it's like there's the wrong kind of bone sticking out at the front and I'm resting on it whereas I used to just I used to chase them on the knees you know once I changed them I used to sort of scamper after them and chase them I can't even sort of rest on my knees now whether it's because I'm heavier I don't know it might as I lose weight we'll see if like crawling around on knees actually improves or if I'm just <laughs> a bit knackered now really don't know the answer well I suspect so at the moment um there was no fireworks last night I was quite surprised we um people have been saying on Facebook and including my sister that you know, they've, it's in their areas that people have been doing it for the last two weeks. We had, we only had a couple of days. It's quite um, quite quiet around here, really, as far as fireworks are concerned. Two days of it, and you could hear it in different areas. Couldn't really see them, so they were far enough away, but you could hear the, the pops. But it wasn't like um, going on and on for weeks, like sometimes it does. And, you know, a lot of people are, are complaining. You know, it used to be when we were children, we had firework night. Now we get firework fortnight. I know it's only people with animals, really, that complain. I actually used to complain about it because if the windows were open and the smell came in, it used to upset me quite a bit. It would give me asthma. I don't know if it was the sulphur or the smoke or sulphury sulf smoke or whatever it was, but it used to play havoc with my chest doesn't so much these days I don't know why maybe because the fireworks go higher so there's less of it I don't know I never liked them much you know not being around them at close proximity I don't mind watching them I prefer displays so they're far away and decent sort of fireworks much better than burning a hole in your garden which Mike always liked to do. Set them off in the garden, big burnt patches of grass. Anyway, enough firework night. Well, it's not a night anymore, I guess. But firework period. Wow, I am so hungry. And I'm not sure if you can hear this tummy rumbling, but it is pretty loud. I hate that when you wake up and you know you've got a hungry day. And you're trying to be as good as you can be. And you know you've got a hungry day ahead. I'm a very hungry caterpillar today. So, and I've run out of tea. I do. I've got some new biscuit tea, but I need to dig it out and put on a pot of coffee because Gary's now awake. And get the day going. I haven't got much enthusiasm today. I guess it's another lockdown, another set of whirlwind of emotions like roller coaster in you know not seeing the family and all that stuff kind of takes its toll bad dreams which are popping in again so you know here we go again ah oh, wonder where it'll all end do you ever feel do you ever feel like mother nature is trying to cull us i do i feel like it's saying you know, man, don't mean men, I mean us, the human race, homo sapiens, whatever you want to call us, is, is doing its damnedest to destroy this planet, so we're going to get you. I just feel like that. Just because when, you know, they sent this virus to to get rid of a massive chunk of us, and just when you are happy that there is a virus on the horizon, I mean a vaccine on the horizon, that's going to put life back to normal 
along comes a new strain that's resistant and if it's happened with mink in Denmark it's going to happen with other animals not just rodent-y type animals imagine it happens with rats there's billions of those so yeah it just feels like mother nature is skynet we've been targeted for extinction determination Oh my, I do need to shake this mood. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It just does feel that way, doesn't it? It's like you've been killing this planet enough time to kill you off. You will mend your ways, mankind. This is Mother Nature talking. <laughs> I am in a funny mood. I do apologise. I will shake myself out of this mood and eat something nice. <laughs> I've bought myself some jelly. It's sugar free and I've got to make it up but I'm going to make some because I'm craving something sweet. I don't really want to um, you know go for anything proper sweet or make chocolate at this stage like cocoa bark but I think that will just you know tide me over if I made a jelly. Sugar free jelly. So yesterday Gary made this amazing roast dinner and I thought we were just having roast beef and vegetables and he made he made roast potatoes and I didn't know. I knew he'd got himself a couple of um, Yorkshire puddings, um, frozen ones, you know. But um, as we sat down, he said, um, are you going to have any of these roast potatoes? And I just thought, what? And he said, are you going to have any of these roast potatoes? And I went, you've made roast potatoes? And he said, yeah, and I went, I can't have them. And he went, well, it won't hurt just to have two with it. And I, hmm, it will. So um, they sat there looking at me, all golden and gorgeous. And I thought, oh, my God. So I didn't have any. And uh, he left two purposely in the pot. And then as he was eating his dinner and he said, are you going to eat those? And I went, no. <laughs> I'm not. So he had them. But, oh, the willpower. The willpower for that alone. To the Yorkshires, they're nice. But I can take them or leave them, you know. I can, don't worry about missing out. But spuds. Oh, my God. That was a hard one. But I did it. And it was easier than I thought. You know, I didn't... I didn't, um... <laughs> I didn't sit there sulking or wishing or anything I just thought don't do it and set myself to eating my veggies which were nice don't get me wrong the gravy was nice the gravy was probably a little more carby than I should have had but it wasn't bad you know just beef and vegetables and <laughs> gravy so I was very very good yesterday <sighs> oh well I hope so that it will carry on as well because you know once I'm in the zone I'm in the zone it's hard to shake it out of me it's, it's really hard to get me to cheat and then all of a sudden something will come along the one thing that does get you to do something and then it's hard that moment on like Christmas you know Christmas is coming and last time I was on a low carb diet I had Christmas dinner I had Christmas pudding I had some mince pies, I had a few quality street and then I did the same new year, I had a dinner and I didn't gain one single solitary pound and it was easy to get back on the diet. Somehow it hasn't happened again, you know, when there's been these little temptations or meals out or something that has kind of got me off of my diet. It's not been that easy to get back. So... Um, it is a pain. Anyway, it's Victoria's birthday today and um, she's spending it in lockdown without anything sort of nice. So I do feel sorry for her today. Oh, so maybe I'll try and do something for her later. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to get off because I need to um, make Gary a coffee as he's awake now uh, <laughs> and take sort of a... Uh, 
my morning vitamins and get going. So thanks for watching. And sorry I'm in a bit of a doldrum. It's not really a doldrum. It's just a, 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 a sort of a weird mood because of the, the lockdown, I think. Got a whole month of this, at least. Probably be more. I think it'll be okay once I get back into the swing of things and I've got um, my little bit of errands put behind me and I can get back to crocheting because my finger's been cracked and sore and everything. So once I get back to normal, I'm sure it won't be long for a bounce back anyway. So thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. If I can, I'll do a live stream over on Crochet Rocks later today and I should be putting up a new video for um rocksteady so if you haven't already subscribed to rocksteady please do and uh, hit the notification bell i'm going to be doing um, a little walk around minster abbey for this one um so thank you so much and uh see you tomorrow bye for now